Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of the all new Way of Wade 10. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do so. Click the subscribe button down there. And also, there's a donation button down beside it. If you wanted to donate to this channel, it will really help out. And of course, share this video afterwards. What I have here in my hand is of course the WOW 10 or the Way of Wade 10 from Leaning. Leaning is the mother company of the Way of Wade line. They partnered with Dwayne Wade, which of course is one of my ultimate idols. Aside from Penny Hardaway, LeBron, D Wade was my second favorite who really caught my attention and I really tried to copy his moves before. He's really one of the players that I look up to. This is the Blossoms colorway of the Way of Wade 10. So shout out again, Leaning, for sending this over and letting me try it out early to give you my performance review. Before we go to the performance aspect of the sneaker, let's talk about first the aesthetics of the Way of Wade 10. For me personally, I like how it looks. It's a toned down design from the Way of Wade 9 because the WOW 9 was really futuristic. It has a midfoot plate that really shouts futuristic and it was really curved. And that is one of the things that I saw the difference between the Way of Wade 10. They toned out the curve but still very curved in the forefoot and heel to give us a very nice heel to toe transition. And as for the upper, I don't have a Way of Wade 9, fortunately, but with this one, it is kind of toned down. I think it's more for performance aspect, but at the same time, they gave us some premium materials, like the leathers around these lacing panels here, which is, yeah, smells like real leather. And let's talk about the materials in the forefoot, where it has a mesh upper that is ultra thin, so I like it. It's not that thick mesh upper and it's dual layered. And the one underneath it is a neoprene material that's also very thin. So it makes the WOW 10 very light, very minimal. At the same time, still comfortable around your skin because the neoprene is really soft around your skin. And that's the first initial thing that I felt when I put my foot in. It felt very comfortable around my foot. And that's a good start on any basketball sneaker. There's a hint of reflective materials here in the forefoot area. Unfortunately, mine got scratched in a game where I tried this. I think it's my first time that I use it and someone stepped on the toe and it has a scratch. So that's really a bummer, but that piece reflects. If you can see it here in the camera, that whole panel, this gray panel reflects and it gives a very nice, subtle, futuristic hint to the WOW 10. What we have is a traditional lacing system, which I'm not really mad of. And it comes with a very long laces. Look how long it is. And the laces comes in a very nice material. It's very plush at the same time. It doesn't loosen up because it has some give to it. So when you really tighten up, it doesn't loosen up. I didn't need any relacing when I was using the WOW 10. As for the tongue part of the WOW 10, it is made out of this screen mesh that is heavily perforated. You can see right through it. And there's some targeted paddings on the tongue near the midfoot. And especially, of course, around here near the ankle so that it won't have any discomfort or any abrasion around your skin. True enough, I didn't have any discomfort around the tongue. And it was actually pretty comfortable. The materials on the side is similar to the ones in the forefoot and also has a neoprene material on some areas. It is soft, look how soft it is. Even though it is really soft, but the support mainly comes from this plastic piece, which is made out of rubber, but not the hard kind of rubber. You can see me bending it, it's really soft. It's like a stretchable rubber. So when you're sliding or making lateral moves, still cages your foot at the same time. It doesn't give you any discomfort or it won't shave your foot, especially if you're playing with this for a long period of time. And I actually played with this on my first day. I played with them in two league games. And honestly, I think it really helped me 
go through the day because we fought two heavy teams. It's uh, two different leagues. The first league that I played with or played against with was the number one team and we lost, uh, they massacred us. While the second game that I played, I just had one hour rest and it's also the top team on the other league and only five of us from the team were present so I was really bound up during that day but I think the WoW 10 kind of helped me out. I'm not saying this because I'm reviewing the WoW 10 but I think the sneaker kind of helped me not get that tired that much for that whole day because when I came home of course my legs was really shut down but it's not as heavy as the previous Sunday that I played uh, I played also two games there and my body really shut down but on the day that I wore the WoW 10 I actually went out after resting for an hour or so now moving on to the back part of the sneaker where you can see some ripstop material and some paddings here which I think this is just for aesthetics these two paddings that are colored uh, like flesh and inside the ankle, which is, this is kind of a high cut sneaker around the ankle. It's made out of a very padded ankle collar and it's soft. And there's an internal heel plate here where it starts from this part. I'll bend it a bit. So that's the internal heel cup or heel containment, which gives a very nice heel containment to your ankle, especially when you really tighten up the laces this ankle part really hugs your foot really nicely and the paddings really cups your foot very well it's not the thickest but it still does its job i didn't feel any looseness around the ankle which i really like it's like the ankle collar has the right amount of thickness in the padding at the same time it's not too loose either and it has give to it so my ankle's not that restricted when I was playing. So it still plays like a low cut sneaker even though this is a high cut sneaker. So this one kind of just supports my ankle and gives me a better feel of the sneaker when I'm playing with it. My movements are more responsive. You can feel the sneaker kind of being with one with your skin, if you get what I mean. It has a very nice fit to it. I'm really surprised on how nice the fit of the WoW 10s are really impressed with it because on the all ct10 i was actually really impressed with the cushion part the traction on that sneaker and the support also was really good and now this wow 10 really is a very impressive sneaker in my opinion and there's a heel pull tab here to help you put your foot in because you really need to loosen up the laces when you're wearing this because the laces doesn't move like i said earlier it doesn't move, it doesn't loosen up when you tighten it. So you really have to pull it out first one at a time before you put your foot in. Which I think is a nice design so that your foot won't be moving anywhere else in the sneaker. And some more details on the WoW 10s. There's a lightning here. I don't know what the meaning of that is. And it's kind of holographic. You can see it. It kind of reflects. And this one is the CST. Creativity Shapes Tomorrow logo here. It's also written here on the outsole, CST. So I think that's the design department of the WoW 10 and kudos to them. It really looks nice. And there was a lot of people asking me what sneaker I was wearing because it really is a attention grabber. And there's a Way of Way 10 here around the leather part written in a gold text. And of course, some more details. I don't know what's the meaning of this line and this dot here. Let me know if you know the meaning. And I think this 10 dashes means the, of course, wow 10. And there's a 10 text here around the rubber part of the midsole. Before we move on to the midsole, the insole that came with it is really plush. It's not the ordinary Ortolite insole because it looks more dense. And it feels very comfortable and it has a very nice bounce back to it and i think it's the more premium type of insole i don't know if this is polyurethane but it kind of looks like it or it's part of the boom material the feeling of it is really plush i could even use this insole in my other sneakers because it's very comfortable when i put my hand inside 
you can immediately feel the boom cushion which is full length on the wow 10 and the strobo board of the sneaker is not actually a board it's just made out of uh, like a fabric that is screen and when you're touching it you can feel the boom cushion when you're just pressing the whole part of the sneaker even though the boom cushion is not that thick but it's actually full length you can really feel the ride of it which is ultra comfortable and the bounce of the boom cushion is really intense in this one given that it's a thin slab of boom and i think one of the major factors here why i really felt the boom cushion is because of the almost full length carbon fiber that came with this wow 10 it is below the boom cushion so it's actually i think it starts from here then till nearly at the end of the heel i'll show you a photo of it and when you're bending the sneaker you can really see the recoil of the wow 10 and based on the tech specs the carbon fiber is just thin enough and it's not thick enough that it really gives you a very nice spring back and it kind of activates the boom cushion so when you're bending your foot it makes the boom cushion compress and bounce back a little bit more faster and a little bit more responsive and when i was playing with it i felt ultra responsive even though it is ultra comfortable it's ultra plush i really think that the full length carbon fiber really helps out in the responsiveness and springiness of the WOW 10s. It is low to the ground because the boom cushion is not too thick, but at the same time still gives a very nice impact protection around the heel and around the forefoot. And of course, like I said, bounciness is also very nice. I think this is the thinnest ETPU setup that I really felt very bouncy at the same time, still very responsive. It's usually with this thin ETPU setup foam, uh, there's not much bounce but there's more impact protections in other sneakers but with this one i'm really impressed on how they implemented the boom cushion together with the carbon fiber shank and don't worry this midsole foam carrier which has the 10 text in it is ultra soft when i'm pressing it look how soft it is it's the same type of rubber that's being used here on this pink part it's a softer rubber and it compresses, it's not that stiff rubber. So I think they used the perfect material to carry the boom cushion so that it won't give instability to the sneaker when the boom cushion is exposed, but they still cage it at the same time. The material is still soft, giving the boom cushion enough space to compress and bounce back. And like I said in the beginning, I really like the shape of the WOW 10. It's a toned down shape from the WOW 9 because the WOW 9 was really curved, especially around the forefoot. But on the WOW 10, it's a little bit more muted, but still curved. And when you're running up and down the floor, it gives you the sensation to run up and down more. And it gives you a very organic feel when you're running or making heel strike to the sneaker. And of course, one of the most important thing in a basketball sneaker is the traction. On the WOW 10, it has this ripple-like traction in the forefoot, which they said that it's like water ripples in the forefoot while there's a more radial pattern on the heel for the traction and the rubber compound on the traction and this is very pliable it's very bendable at the same time kind of hard still i think you can use this uh, every now and then for outdoor court but i don't think um, i won't recommend it to be used the whole time outdoor since the rubber is really pliable and this is not a cheap shoe guys this is 225 us dollars and that's around here in philippine peso that's 12,000 pesos so i don't think it's ideal for this pair to be used outdoors but if you want an outdoor pair from leaning i would recommend the all ct10 but if you're playing more indoors this is a really ideal sneaker to have because the traction was on point on a wooden floor the first time that i played with this it was on a kind of moist floor because it was raining hard here in manila this sneaker was really gripping the floor really hard and i saw some kind of sliding off with their kobe's and other sneakers but with this one it was really gripping really well i mean not just good but really well it was even squeaking 
and really impressed with the traction on this one. I think it really plays well for indoor wooden floors and those kind of smooth surface like those rubberized floor. I think it will really grip on those type of floor. Here in my b-roll, I actually was doing a b-roll of this one where my sweat was on that floor, on that wooden floor, but it was still gripping, it was still squeaking. And man, really impressed with the traction on leaning, especially the All City 10 and this one. It's very consistent, and I think this will be one of the top tractions for this year for me. As for the weight of the WOW 10, it feels really light. So let's measure it up. See, it's 400 grams for a high top sneaker for a US 11 size. For US 11, for a high top, 400 is really light. Usually I get my sneakers at 400 for those low top sneakers, but this one is a high. So it really shows how thin the materials are on the WOW 10s but it is still giving a very nice support to the sneaker, especially this caging, this rubber is still thin. It's not too thick, it's not too heavy. Even the carrier rubber on the boom cushion is really soft and thin, but still giving extra durability to the sneaker. As for the sizing of the WOW 10, for regular footers like me, go true to your size, and if you're a wide footer, go half a size up. And this is available at wayofweight.com. They ship internationally. So I mean, without bias, I think this will be one of my favorite sneakers to play in this year. I mean, for the comfort, the lightness, the dependability of the traction, the responsiveness of the sneaker, and of course, that full length carbon fiber that really gives extra energy return to my foot. This I think is one of the top sneakers right now for 2022. For the price of the WOW 10 is 225 US dollars. It's on the expensive side, but I think the price kind of justified the tech that you'll be getting out of the WOW 10. The almost full length carbon fiber, the very nice boom cushion that came with it. The traction is still really nice. Even the materials looks very premium. Even though majority of the materials made out of mesh, it still looks very premium. It looks very futuristic and it looks good in my opinion. So I'm really excited to pump up this video and share my thoughts on this sneaker because I really had fun playing in the WOW 10s. There's two colorways that are out now for the WOW 10. So check out wayofweight.com. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.